Hey lovelies! As you know, our theme this month is all about getting our healthy eating back on track. And today I am launching a brand new series that is all about new ways to enjoy classically healthy foods. As we know, kale remains at the very top of the superfood chain. It contains all sorts of age-defying antioxidants, it's loaded with minerals and vitamins, yada, yada, yada. And whether you love it or hate it, it is not going anywhere. So today I'm going to share three awesome new ways to either learn to love kale again or learn to love it for the very first time. For my very first kale recipe, I am actually going to be sharing a new tasty twist on a classic kale salad. No, don't click off, I swear to you, this kale salad is good enough to eat. It all starts with some kale, of course. I have finely chopped my kale. I really find if you're eating raw kale, the secret is to make sure it's very finely chopped so it's much easier to chew. Another great way to make your kale more palatable is to massage it in a really nice dressing. In this case, it's going to be a combination of some olive oil, some white wine vinegar, some agave, or some honey if that's what you have on hand, and a little sprinkle of salt and pepper. We can go ahead and give that a whisk, and then we're going to pour half over our kale. It helps to break down sort of that toughness in the kale. I am just gonna get in here with my hands. As you know, your hands are actually your best tools in the kitchen. And we are going to give it a good massage for between two or three minutes with this beautiful vinaigrette. Once your kale is feeling nice and relaxed and it's enjoyed its little trip to the spa, you can go ahead and add some cooked wild rice to it. Now, I love wild rice because it's very filling. You could also do this with some brown rice, some white rice if you wanted to, or even some quinoa if you wanna add a little protein to this. All of those options would work great, but I'm adding my wild rice to my kale. I'm going to give it a toss and then get it into my serving dish. To top this salad off, we are using all sorts of tasty flavors. I'm adding some nice crunchy red apple, some nice sweet red grapes, and I've even got some beautiful dried cherries. If you can't find dried cherries, not to worry, dried cranberries will work really well here. I'm going to top this salad off with another superfood, some finely chopped almonds, and then just give it a good dress with my remaining vinaigrette. I know it's a salad, but come on that's a salad you might actually want to eat. And trust me, your insides will thank you. Can I get a kale, yeah? I won't do that again, I promise. Sorry, everyone. For our next kale recipe, I have a really hearty spicy sausage and potato soup for you guys. What I love about adding kale to soups and stews is that because it wilts down so much during the cooking process, you can actually add twice as much and you barely can detect it. So it's a really good place to, you know, hide your kale. So I have got a soup pot on the stove. It's heated up over medium high heat. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to my pan and get that nice and hot. And then it's time to add my diced onion. Once my onion has become nice and soft and translucent, I'll add my minced garlic, give that 30 seconds or so to get nice and fragrant, and that means it is time to add our sausage. So in this case, I've got some hot Italian sausage. I've removed it from its casing. You can go ahead and use some mild Italian sausage if you are not a fan of the heat. That is definitely an option. The idea here is to cook our sausage until it is no longer pink. We are going to use the side of our spoon to break it up into little bits because we don't want big chunks of sausage. We want it to be nicely distributed throughout our soup. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our chopped kale. In this case, I'm using a type of kale called dino kale, really chock full of nutrients, and I find it a little easier to eat, but really any kale will do. Once you've got your kale in your soup pot, you can go ahead and add the rest of your ingredients. I've got some chopped potatoes going in, some diced tomatoes going in, and then some red chili flakes and some chicken broth. We're going to season it up with a little salt and some pepper, and then once it's reached a boil, we can go ahead and reduce our heat to medium low, pop the lid on, and let this cook away for 20 to 30 minutes or until our potatoes are completely tender and cooked through. Obviously, as with most soups, the longer this simmers away, the more delicious it's gonna be. Guys, how can you not like kale when it's surrounded by all of this awesomeness? This soup is so super filling that you are sure to be satisfied after eating it. I really hope you will give it a try. It is perfect for a cold night. 
For my final recipe today, I've got an incredibly healthy but flavorful kale and mushroom soba noodle bowl. This is such a great way to use your kale, and once again, it's another super satisfying recipe. We're going to get started by cooking up my soba noodles. So I've got some boiling water on the stove and I'm just going to pop them in there. It only takes two or three minutes for them to cook completely. I love using soba noodles because they are a great gluten-free option. If you're looking for some other noodles though, you could definitely try this with some glass noodles or some rice noodles or even some traditional pasta noodles. All would work in this recipe. Once you've got your noodles cooked, you're simply going to want to drain them in a colander and then set them aside while you get to work on your tasty mushroom and kale mixture. I'm going to start by heating up a little bit of sesame oil over medium high heat in a nice skillet. As soon as that oil is heated up, we are going to add these beautiful sliced mushrooms. I love working with cremini mushrooms, as you guys probably know, but white button mushrooms are also a great option. We're just going to saute these until they start to soften up a little bit and take on a bit of a golden color. Then we are going to build in some flavor. To this, I'm going to add some minced garlic, some grated ginger, and some red chili flakes. Always optional, as you know. After just about 30 seconds or so, you guys know the drill by now, this will be nice and fragrant and heated up and delicious. That means it is time to add our kale. I'm going to let these cook away for maybe two or three minutes, just until my kale has started to wilt down completely. Then I will add my cooked soba noodles. If you find that they've started to stick together in the colander, not to worry at all, just run them under some hot water and they'll start to loosen up. Then we'll just hit this with a little soy sauce for that lovely umami flavor, some rice vinegar, which adds a good amount of tanginess, and some agave syrup, which adds just a hint of sweetness. Really good balance in this dish. Once we've stirred this all together, we can turn off our heat, stir in our green onions and some freshly chopped coriander, and then this baby is ready to serve. I like enjoying it with some sesame seeds sprinkled on top, a little bit more green onion, and some fresh coriander for good measure. Guys, this stuff is incredible. You can eat it hot or cold for lunch the next day. It works really well either way. Super, super tasty, and what a great way to get your kale on. Guys, I really hope that these three recipes inspire you to learn to love kale all over again. If you give them a try, as always, I would love to see your pics, so be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo. Keep in mind, all of these tasty recipes are available in the description box below, as always, so you can take a look for them there. And if you haven't checked out my new series with the Food Network on their YouTube channel, I hope you will. It's called Better Than Takeout. I had a blast making it, and I really would love to hear your thoughts. Finally, if you have not already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more healthy deliciousness where this came from.